I'm not giving up golf to babysit your daughter. Husband divides opinion after standing his ground with wife. Yeah, we need to see more of this. I am so glad someone finally did it. A husband has been defended after taking to read its Am I the Asshole thread to find out if it's reasonable that he doesn't want to sacrifice his hobbies in order to babysit his stepdaughter. No, it's your, it's your wife's kid. She should sacrifice her hobbies to watch her own kid. Why should she get to run out and do whatever she wants while, while you're left watching her kid? Yeah, that is the right call. The 38-year-old explained that he and his wife, Jane, 34, have been together for five years, and she also brought a nine-year-old stepdaughter named Emily into his life. The pair look after her for four days a week, Monday to Thursday, and she's at her father's from Friday to Sunday. He wrote, from the beginning, Jane told me that Emily doesn't need a second father figure as she has her dad to fill that role. Well, there you go. Problem solved. If the guy was told from the very beginning, oh, you're not going to be this girl's father anyway, all right, good. Not my responsibility then. Sounds good to me. Turns out that that goes out the window when uh, when she wants a free babysitter, though. Now, I was only supposed to be tr a trusted authority figure in case she ever needed anything, something he didn't mind as her father is a good dad. Not good enough for you to stay with him, though, huh? So he explained that Emily's father recently got married and uh, his wife has two of her own children who Emily doesn't get along with. They're always fighting and it's pretty toxic. Yeah, this is pretty common. Like the, the put yourself in the position of these kids. You know, a lot of you listening have been in this position. Your family gets torn apart. And uh, the, the parents that you want to see together each get with someone else who brings their own kids and their own priorities. Now you're, you're left in this stupid fucking arrangement having to go back and forth between two different families. Yeah, could you understand maybe why the kids would be a little bit irate at their situation that you put them in? I, I for one, can't see why they might be a little mad. Now, adding uh, Emily's dad asked Jane if they changed their uh, custody schedule to match his stepkids to keep the children apart. Now, it's not a big deal in and of itself. We don't live far from each other, so picking and dropping is no issue, and uh, and she can easily be dropped off school no matter where she is or she stays. The issue is my wife agreed to it without consulting me. Well, there you go. It's her, it's her problem. It's her responsibility. Jane is currently doing a certification course for the next 12 months, and they have classes for, on Saturdays from 9 to 5. She asked me if I can babysit Emily on Saturdays, but I can't because I play golf with my brother and sister on Saturday mornings from 8 to 1. Yeah, dude, stand your ground. Don't give up your hobbies. It's her kid. She made the decision without consulting you. Let her deal with it. So this has been our tradition from before Jane and Emily came into my life, and I've told Jane from much before that this is important to me and my siblings. Uh, she asked if I can move to another day, but that's not possible either because my siblings also have jobs and families of their own, so Saturday is the best day for us. I told her she can hire a babysitter, but she doesn't want to spend money when I can do it for free. Okay, or you can also quit that class and do it for free too. How about that? It's not his responsibility. Lack of planning on your part does not constitute an emergency on his. So, no, I don't think this guy is an asshole at all. So, oh, hey, honey, I just made this decision on my own without consulting you. I, I need you to, to make all the sacrifices now to make this work. Yeah, uh, Even though I made the decision, I'm not willing to make any sacrifices for this. You need to be the one to sacrifice. <laughs> no. No. No, I told her that wouldn't work for me. She got mad and said, golf is stupid. Now she put my stepdaughter over my siblings. Oh, there, see, there we go. Now, now her true colors shine. She, when they met, she was probably pretending like, oh, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, now she, she just went full asshole with that one. But yeah, you need to sacrifice the time you spend with your family so you can watch my kid that I already told you doesn't need another father. This should be divorce right here. This guy should know exactly the type of woman this is. Why are you still with her? 
All right, that pissed me off. So I told her I'm not going to sacrifice my hobbies just so that she can have a free babysitter. That that's good. You're so that that's the perfect response. So he concluded, for the record, I don't have anything against Emily. I've babysat her before, and she's a good kid. If there was a family emergency or if it was an occasional occurrence, then yeah, I would cancel golf for that day and take care of her, but I can't give up something this important to me for 12 months continuous. She called me a, a, a selfish asshole and slept on the couch that night. So am I the asshole? No. No, she is the selfish asshole. She made the decision without consulting you and expects you to make the sacrifice for her decision. Nah, fuck that bitch. She can find some way to make it work. It's not your responsibility at all. Now, other Redders are quick to defend the stepdad, writing, you're definitely not the asshole. You said in another comment that you have the money to pay for babysitting, but your wife just doesn't want to spend it. Your wife is refusing to compromise at all. Yeah. Another said, not the asshole. Uh, your wife can't say her daughter doesn't need you as a stepfather, but then expect you to step up as a stepfather every Saturday when she needs you. <laughs> exactly. You can't have it both ways. Yeah, she can hire a babysitter. Dad and stepmom also need to step up and work on the relationship between the new step siblings and get that under control because there are going to be times when they're all together in the same house. That's just life. Oh, yeah. No, how about this? How, how about convince the girl's real dad to pay for a babysitter? You know, since ultimately the, he, it's his side that that requested the change, right? All right, have him pay for it then. No, someone else wrote, I was ready to read this and re read you for filth, but this is truly an asshole move from your wife. Yeah. And you see, this is the perfect story for why I actually prefer to live alone. Because th this type of stuff, like maybe it's not to this degree, but when you live with other people, it's a common occurrence that someone just makes a decision and expect everyone else to deal with the fallout of it when they had nothing to do with it. This is just part of living with other people. And I am so glad I'm not putting up with that anymore. I don't have to worry about already having too much on my plate. I'm already too busy. I'm already stressed out. And then someone else just says, oh, hey, you look like you could use more stress. Just dumps another pile on. Nope. Don't got to worry about that. All you idiots deal with your own problems. I think it's totally fair that she asked you to help out, but agreeing to it without talking to you and assuming you'd consistently do this is wild. Why does she agree and then uh, work to loop you in after? No, that's just what whammons do. They make decisions, and when they have negative consequences, it's your responsibility to step up and deal with them. And it's also interesting that now that your wife needs your help, Emily is your stepdaughter, where it seems like it was clear boundary that you aren't a father figure. I know. It, it, it's great, isn't it? Like you gotta love the double standards. Yeah, he, he's the he's the Schrodinger stepdad, I guess. You know, that's a good point, though. I guess that this is his fault for marrying a single mother. So it, the, the dude's not completely innocent. But props to him for actually standing his ground, though. If your wife wants to revisit what your role is to Emily, totally cool, but it shouldn't be because she needs a babysitter. Yeah, I really don't see how this family stays together after this. No, one user suggested a compromise, adding sounds like this is something that should have been worked out more carefully as a family before agreeing to. Well, how is that a compromise at that point? Oh, is it possible that the dad or stepmom changed their kid's schedule as well? Uh, that way uh, they have the way they have her when Jane is busy with certification. Yeah, that would that, that would be reasonable since they're the ones that requested the change in the first place. They're the ones that should make. the No, it, it's between the, the kid's real dad and the guy's wife. They're the ones that agreed to the change. They need to deal with all the consequences themselves. Don't bring other people into it. Now, is there a kid's class or something that, uh, like that where you go golfing could help integrate the, the two if schedule change is not possible? Now, however, the original post that came back with there isn't, and even if there was, it would likely still have to be paid for, definitely. My wife doesn't want money to be spent to take care of Emily. She just wants me to do it for free. If she wants a free babysitter, she knows how to get one. Just quit your job, quit your course, and be the babysitter. Be a stay-at-home mom. There you go. Free babysitter acquired. Congratulations.